Hi, I'm Eric Sorensen, author of Sorensen's Guide to Power Boats. We're here on the Grady White Express 330. The 330's electrical system is divided into two sides on the electrical panel in the cabin, AC and DC. On the left is 120 volts AC, just like in your home, supplying loads including the air conditioning, water heater, galley appliances, receptacles, the battery charger, and so on. AC power is provided by shore power when you're plugged in at the dock and by the generator when out on the water. The boat's 4KW generator is rated for 31.6 amps continuous load and 35 amps peak, which means you can use it at that rating for up to two hours. Shore power capacity is 30 amps. Now you can't run everything at once on the boat. Power supply is limited to those capacities. You can check your owner's manual for the amperage draw for each component. And you also should monitor the amperage load actually on the electrical panel meter. On the right is the 12 volt DC side, which uses batteries to provide power to loads such as the lighting, TV, stereo, the head, the freshwater system, and bilge blower. It's also the second source of power for the refrigerator. Make sure to have the main breaker on to provide power to the individual breakers below it and to the DC accessories that aren't individually wired to their own switches. The batteries have to be kept charged either by the engines or by the battery charger to keep up with demand. See your owner's manual for more detailed information.